What's up, guys, and welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome back to the channel, man. Today's video, we're going to talk about the first things you should do to your Dodge Charger, man, when you first get it. In my opinion, first thing you should do. But then it all depends on if you finance the car or if you lease the car. Now, if you finance the car, you probably want to take care of it. And if you don't plan on trading in anytime soon, you probably should take it and get um, either Expel put on it or ceramic coated. You wanna put some type of uh, protection on your paint because if it's your daily driver, you're gonna be driving it in all kinds of different weather, you know, parking it at the mall, people banging your car up. And um, so you wanna put something on your car to protect the paint. Another thing you wanna do you want to get your windows tinted. To me, when you get your windows tinted, that's like, it changes the whole look of the car. So you got to get your windows tinted. Another thing, when you get your windows tinted, not only does it look good, it can protect the interior of your car, especially if you got leather seats. You don't want that sun beating on your car, beating on your seats. So when you get your windows tinted, It'll definitely keep your uh, leather seats from peeling. So you want to get your windows tinted. Another thing you want to do. You want to you wanna black out your tail lights. Now, everybody don't like the blacked out look. But I think it looks better than, you know, just the clear lights. So you want to put the uh, Lux tint, uh, tail light tint on your car. Or you can take it to a tent shop and they can put this regular tint over your car. Um, your tail lights. Me personally, I like the Lux tint. Um, I think it looks better and it come already pre-cut. So that's another thing you want to do. After that, you might want to do either a muffler delete or you can just get a whole new exhaust. You know what I'm saying? You can put Flowmasters on there. On my Charger RT, I have uh, the S-Type boiler exhaust. So it's up to you, man. You can go online and listen to a lot of different um, uh, exhausts. Like I say, you got the boiler, you have Flowmaster, you have um, Corsa. You got a lot of different um, brands you can go with. But me, I like the boiler sound because everybody has Flowmasters, so I wanted something different. Um, so that's another thing you should do. Some people like to change their wheels. Me had my wheels uh, plastic dip black because I just like the black and white look. So based on your car, your car's color, that can determine what um what type of wheels you put on your car. Some people like 20s, some people like 22s. I personally like how the 22s look, but the 20s look good as well. And also you get to keep your ride. But people are saying that the 22s ride good also. I'm not sure, I never had, well, that's not true. I had 22s on my V6 charger. The ride definitely changed, but at the same time, I had some real heavy 22s. That may have played a part in it, why the car rode so rough. Um, so I guess you would have to just um, put the 22s on there and see what happens or try to find somebody that already has uh, 22s and drive their charger. But I know for a fact, the 20s, it doesn't matter if you got a V6 or a V8, the car's gonna ride good. Um, or you can also take and um, get your wheels powder coated. And that's only if you wanna change the color of your wheels. Now some, nowadays, with the new chargers, they're coming with, you know, black wheels, um, that are gunmetal gray wheels. So you get, they already come in pretty much decked out. So ain't really too much you need to do uh, as far as wheels on the, on the new chargers. But mine is a 16. Um, mine came with the, um, I think they call it gunmetal gray wheels. They look good, but I wanted the black look because my car's got the black and white uh, scheme going. So I wanted to paint my wheels um, black. So I went with the gloss black. Uh, plastic dip but again that's just personal preference you know what i'm saying so that's just pretty much 
the outside of the car, you know, as far as looks. And, you know, I know the 2018 on up chargers come with the Hellcat spoiler, I believe. So that's something you may want to look into changing. Some people like the looks or some people like the flat spoiler that comes on the RTs. Now, of course, if you got a scat pack, you can just, they pretty they come with the Hellcat spoiler. So I don't think you need to even worry about that. But a lot of people do add the wicker bill. So that's something you can put on your RT or scat pack if you already have the um, Hellcat spoiler. Like my car, it comes with the square mufflers, uh, muffler tips. I don't like that. That's something I'm definitely going to change if I decide to keep my car. So that's another thing you might want to change. But if you want to get the um, the mufflers like the, that's on the scat pack, you're going to have to change your rear valence. So that's something you want to you might want to look into. You can order that on. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, I, matter of fact. I'll leave a link to all of the things that I'm talking about uh, where you can order it so you don't have to go searching around for all this stuff. So I'll definitely leave a link um, in the description so you guys can go right to it and order it with no problems. I know a lot of chargers come with um, the sports pedals. Some come with it in the trunk. Some people don't even realize that it came with their car, but if it didn't, you might want to look into changing the sport pedals, changing your pedals to the sport pedals. Um, they look better and also your foot doesn't slip off the gas or the brake as easy as with the regular uh, uh, brake pedals. So that's something else you might want to look into doing. That's one of the things that I like about Dodge. You can do a lot to these cars and it don't cost an arm and a leg to do it. So that's just a short list of things that you can do if you just now bought your car. Um, because I've been getting some comments, you know, people asking me, oh, I just bought a 17 Charger or I just bought an 18 Charger. Uh, what should I do first? So those are just some of the things I, I think that you can do to your car off the break that, you know, that would definitely change the way that your car look. Also, you want to look into putting in a high flow air filter and if you if you browse through my videos I just uh, uploaded a video doing that so you can check out that video and I'll leave a link in the description to that video um, now far as performance you can always add a supercharger that may give you an extra what 150 horsepower or something like that don't quote me on that. I'm not exactly sure how much extra horsepower the supercharger will add. I know it's at least 150. I'm guessing at least 150. And I think they range anywhere from 7,000 to 10,000 installed, ordered, the whole shebang. But I'll leave a um, link in the description where you can order that and follow up on that. So if you're just buying a Dodge Charger, and this also can apply to a scat pack. Because some people are ordering base model scat packs. So you can also apply some of these mods to a scat pack. All depends on what you're aiming for. So I just wanted to drop a video, man, talking about some of the things you can do initially to change the look of your car, also change the performance of your car. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description to all of these different mods and different parts so you can go ahead and order it and go ahead and, uh, you know, change the look of your car. Because I know when I first got mine, I changed stuff immediately. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't want to ride around looking like everybody else or looking like I just came from the dealer. You know what I'm saying? I wanted my car to look different off the jump. So... But you can browse through my videos, man. I've done a lot of different videos on certain things you can do to uh, transform your car, you know, and make it your own. I, uh, on top of that, I have this armrest. Um, this armrest pad. And I think this is very, very important. I'll leave a link in the description where you can order this because it'll keep your armrest, it'll keep your middle armrest from, from uh, cracking because you know you got lotion and you're leaning on it and you're moving around i mean yeah eventually this thing is gonna it's gonna crack the leather will crack and, and, that, and that looks terrible so you definitely want to order that and plus it's comfortable 
and it looks pretty cool. Also, another thing you can do, man, a lot of people change their hood. And that all depends on if you got the uh, Super Track Pack, where it already comes with the bumpers and the hood, like the Scat Pack. But if you didn't get the Super Track Pack, you can always change the hood as well. And you can change your bumpers. You can make your car look exactly like the Scat Pack. So, those are all the things you can do, man. You know, and, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of things I left out. And, and while I'm thinking about it, as far as performance, you can change your PCM. You know, you can um, you can get the uh, Diablo. You can, you know, you can change, you can tune your car. You can also get the Taser, and that'll give you the um, SRT pages. You know, the SRT performance pages. So those are some of the things you can do, man. To um, you know, far as performance-wise, as far as some of the features that you might not have in your RT if you got a base model RT or a base model scat pack. I don't want to make this video too long, but that's just a quick list of things that you can do right after you get it and I know I did and there's still some things I need to do if I decide to keep this car but at the same time I'm gonna do a lot of that stuff to my new scat pack when I get it so I hope this helped man to whomever just got their new car man congratulations and if this your first time joining my channel man hit the like button hit the subscribe button man and I'll see y'all on the next video peace Thank you.